A young student was climbing the stairs of an old multi-story building. There must be apartment number 12 somewhere here. The new educational year was coming and he was going to rent a room here. Big red door, number 12 on it, it's here. He knocked and an old lady opened the door for him and smiled sweetly at him. She invited him inside and immediately showed him room. She told the basic rules that had to be followed and if everything suits him, then he can make a payment for a month. Then she went to the hair room. He was satisfied with everything. The room is neat, the hostess looks quite normal and he went to give money. He went to her door to pay for a month, but the door suddenly opened and she abruptly pulled the money out of his hand as if she knew that he had come up and was watching him. Hmm, she sweared after all. Well, I gave the money, well, and wait and see for a month, he thought. At night he heard a strange noise. Someone was walking around the apartment in complete darkness. He didn't close the door to the room, so he heard everything perfectly. Then he saw that something flashed in the dark opening of the corridor. He got up quickly and went to the door. There he saw old lady sitting in the kitchen and eating something. In complete darkness, slurping loudly and drinking something. Yeah, I'll have to look for a new room in a month. He quickly closed the door and got into the bed. Such strange and creepy things began to happen more and more often. He noticed that the old woman never eats with him. But almost every night she chewed something in her kitchen in complete darkness. And one day he woke up from some creaking. Opening his eyes, he saw that the door handle was turning from side to side and if someone was trying to get inside. But the door was locked and the old woman closed it back in her room. One day she went somewhere, locking her room with a key. The student became interested in what she keeps there so that she locks it every time. He found the key in the painting. The air inside was stale. It looks like she never aired the room. There were some bags and a backpack in the corner of her room, almost the same as his. Then the door slammed behind him. He couldn't open it from inside. For some reasons, there was no handle. And then he heard the front door open. The old woman has come. The boy hid under her bed. Then his elbow touched something under the bed. He turned it around. What is it? There are several dried mummified bodies under the bed. They were young guys who had lived with her in the past years. Catherine had a day off and she stayed at home to rest. She was about to lie down on the sofa and turn on the TV when suddenly a friend who worked with her called her. Listen, um, hi. Uh, anyway, I wanted to ask you something. Um, I know you are resting, but I have no way out. My aunt is out of town right now and I can't look after my mom. She knew that her friend had a sick mother at home and her sister was taking care of her. It wasn't her own mother but her stepmother and she was a paralyzed. There was no choice and in the evening Catherine went to a friend. 
She had a night shift and after explaining everything that needed to be done, she went to work. Catherine was left alone in a big house with an old woman who spent all day sitting by the window in Estrella. There wasn't much to do at all. It was just necessary to feed her, wash her and put her to bed. But it wasn't that simple. The old lady tried to every way to prevent her and didn't let her near and even spilled a plate of soup. Catherine's patience broke. The time was already late and she just decided to put her to bed. She would never forget her look as she lay there helplessly. The girl left a call with her as Linda told her, so that she could call her in case of anything. But it looks like they decided to finally drive her crazy. As soon as Catherine lay down, she had the bill ring. The old woman seemed to be waiting for her to lay down. As she went into her room, she was still lying in her bed and looked at Catherine. When she asked it what she needed, old woman just kept silent. It happened several times, and at one point, Catherine just stopped paying attention to the calls. The bell rang and rang in the far part of house. Then there was silence. She finally fell asleep. Catherine closed her eyes and began to fall asleep. Then she heard a bell ring next to her bed and a whisper. Are you deaf? Are you deaf? I'm calling you. Are you deaf? And grabbed her legs. Catherine screaming in pain and then she was woken up by the sound of front door opening. It was some kind of nightmare, a terrible dream. It must be Linda who came. Catherine gathered all her things and ran out into the street. She didn't even want to go into that room. At home she immediately went to the shower. This old woman was paralyzed. Of course it was a dream. Thank God, just a terrible nightmare. <laughs>